Hi, welcome to Walser Honda Burnsville. My name is Luke Belter. I'm going to be showing you the Honda Passport today. Uh, today we got the EXL trim. Uh, if you don't know anything about the Honda Passport, it sits right between our most popular C uh, our po most popular SUV, the CRV, and the Honda Pilot. Uh, so the biggest difference between this one and the Honda Pilot is it's not going to have the third row there. So you have a ton of extra space there for all of your activities, additional storage space as well too. Uh, coming around to the front here, some of my favorite parts about it is this really bold black grille on the front there. Uh, super sharp LED lights with the uh, fog lights as well. Uh, my favorite part too is the Honda sensing to keep me nice and safe when I'm driving on the road. Uh, you'll have it in the badge down here as well as up front there. There's nice sensors and radars there to uh, help you with your lane keep assist system and the road departure mitigation system. Two fantastic features to keep you nice and safe on the road. Uh, talking about performance of this vehicle though, this is a V6 engine. It's a 3.5 liter with over 280 horsepower. Uh, it's a fantastic vehicle to be taken on the road there on the highway. Uh, a towing capacity of over 3,500 pounds. So awesome option there for you. Coming around to the side though, again, really, really sharp design there. Very, very sleek. Coming into the side here, all of these vehicles from the Sport trim level to the EXL to the Touring and to the Elite, those are all of the trim levels that are available on the Passport. This one uh, is going to come with your remote start and then in addition to that, all of them are going to come with the smart key. This one, you reach under your hand under the door and it's going to unlock all the doors there for you. Uh, and then when you're done with the vehicle, you just press this button right here and it's going to lock them all there for you too. Super convenient. Going on the inside, and again, on, on the EXL trim level, this is the first one here that's going to come with leather seats there for you, a leather trim package. You have your power passenger seats uh, with the four-way control there, as well as your driver's seat with the 12-way. You have the really sleek design on the infotainment system. My favorite part about it is that it's equipped standard across all of the trim levels with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, we'll go into some of the other features of the infotainment system later. Coming around to the back here, of course, for the kiddos in the back, you have the built-in sunscreen. Uh, and then going down inside, I mean, two of my favorite parts about this is the, the options here. So big thing there, you obviously have vents there to keep you nice and cool or nice and warm. In addition to that, you also have, uh, you have your plugins for your USBs as well uh, for charging your uh, products. But going in here too, you can move the seat forward. And then my favorite part here is the space that you get when you pull that lever and it lays flat. This is the biggest separator here between the Pilot and the CRV. This one just offers so much more space. Then going up inside here, we also have the sunroof, which is obviously perfect for those summer days when you want to let some sun in there. Sunroof is going to be available on the EXL trim level and above. Coming around to the back here, uh, as you can see, a lot of the same features there, a lot of the same sleek design there with the black accents. Uh, you'll see the chrome tips on the dual exhaust there. Uh, the cool thing about all of, these, uh, all of these features, all of the trim levels on the Passport are actually going to be equipped with the standard uh, safety feature of the backup camera. That's going to be consistent across the board. Uh, the other piece that I really like here on the EXL, it's going to be the first one where you add the power lift gate. So adding the power lift gate there obviously is going to be really convenient because you also have it on your remote, but you'll also have the button underneath here. You just tap that there. That opens up the back here for you. And again, this is the biggest difference between uh, the Passport and really any of the models that we offer here is the space that this offers. So going down here too, the seats, as you know, can be pulled down from the side, but we also have the button here too that just pops them down straight there for you. Just a click of a button. Uh, the other cool piece about it there is of course the additional storage. So you also have the additional storage here, but then in the case that you ever need to use it, you do also have the uh, spare tire there inside as well. And then coming down here underneath too, we also do have, so on the EXL trim level, you're gonna have blind spot monitors. So you're gonna have a, a little sensors on the back here that are gonna detect uh, when you have somebody in your blind spot, which are gonna be standard on all of the EXL trim levels and above. So coming around to the side here, you're gonna see our 20 inch smoked alloy wheels, which is gonna be standard across all trim levels, but once you get up to that uh, elite level, that's when you start adding the, the, the black uh, flush uh, color to it there. Um, coming on the inside here, I always love to point out here, we have our memory seats here that'll uh, be saved for up to two drivers. And then coming down here as well, you also have the, powers, the power seats for the driver there, as well as lumbar support um, going up to the side here too. 
you'll see that there is the econ mode there. If you want to save a little extra, a little extra on the tank there, uh, save a little bit on the planet. Uh, and then in addition to that too, you'll also see that we have the, the uh, options there to deactivate your road departure mitigation system as well as your traction control. On the inside of the 2021 Passport EXL now, we're going to go through some of the uh, really fun features on this one. Um, starting up top here, we're going to go with the, so we have the dimmable, it's the dimmable rear view mirror uh, with the three programmable uh, garage door openers. Uh, going down from there, then we go to our infotainment screen, uh, which you're going to see right away there is going to have the Android Auto Apple CarPlay, uh, which is going to be standard across all trim levels. Uh, it's one of my favorite features because if you scroll over here, you'll see this vehicle doesn't come equipped with navigation, but with the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto, you're going to actually be able to display your Apple Maps or your Google Maps, whatever you're using there, on this screen. Uh, it's a super cool feature that I love to have on all my new vehicles. Um, going down here, then of course you have your tri-zone climate control uh, for front and back, and then going down from there, you have your heated seats, power outlet, as well as the USB connector there for, for your uh, cell phone. And then from there, you go down to the, so this is, this is going to be, it's look a little different for everybody, but this is going to be the uh, stickless shifter, if you will. Um, so being able to uh, shift into park, drive, and then you have, of course, your sport mode there as well. So below the shifter, you have your auto off, your engine idle stop there. And then above that, you're, you're gonna have your different settings there for your driving mode. For the different climates that you're gonna be in there, you'll have the normal, you'll have the snow, the mud, and the sand there for the different settings that you're gonna be in. So then going up to the steering wheel here, you'll have your lovely little paddle shifters there on the back. Uh, and then going here from the right here, we have the, uh, so you have your cruise control settings there, the adaptive cruise control there, which of course can set the distance that you're going to be following the car in front of you, uh, all the way there to the lane keep assist system as well there, uh, which is going to uh, use the radar detectors in this vehicle to keep you nice and centered on the road. Uh, going to the opposite side here, uh, you're going to have control there over your sound system there, controlling the volume, as well as being able to change through uh, whatever station you're listening to or whatever song you're listening to on Spotify or Apple Music. Uh, in addition to that, you also have control of answering telephone calls and communicating with Siri. So then when you press the home screen, you're going to go up here too on your screen and it's going to be able to display it's going to be able to display your trip computer, your all-wheel drive torque system, how that's working for you. Uh, of course, you're going to have your phone call there, what music you're listening to, or what station you're listening to. And then you can also check the maintenance on your vehicle as well. And that's all going to be accessible there on the, on the wheel there for you. This was, again, the Passport EXL. If you love all the features and you're like, yep, this is great, awesome, come on in. Uh, but if you're like, I don't need all that, you know, um, there is always a Sport Edition, which is a trim lower here. But if you want to add some more, if you're like, Luke, I need that heated steering wheel, um, let's, let's, let's talk about that. You can go up to the touring level and the elite level as well. Um, but again, thank you very much here. Uh, this is Luke Belter from Walser Honda Burnsville. Uh, feel free to check us online at walserhonda.com. Have a lovely day.